So let's start indeed. Um, thank you for, to those who stayed with us uh, for the very last session, side session. Um, maybe I will start with, uh, with the good news, and the good news is that this is a short session. It will be maximum one hour, and I will be very strict about the timing, especially for myself, uh, because um, yeah, the sun is shining, so let's enjoy also the afternoon after so many hours in, uh, in the conference room and in front of the screens. So very much thank you for being with us uh, for this last session, and this is a practical session where I encourage you also to ask a question you may have about the technical assistance on the ground that we will deliver. Um, and we will uh, try to focus on uh, first the JTP um, Just Transition Platform itself, what type of activities are covered by this platform, just for you all to be on the same page as us in, an, in understanding what we provide. Um, I will after um, invite my colleagues from JTP Groundwork team to, to give you more details on the technical assistance we provide in the coming months. Um, and also any other additional services under the Just Transition platform. And then uh, there will be also one uh, of uh, our colleagues from uh, European Investment Bank who will um, present to you uh, shortly three tools uh, also supporting Just Transition, which is Target, Jaspers and Elena. Uh, so by saying this, um, my name is Balbina Gluza Czeczerska. I'm coordinator of the Just Transition platform in DG Regio. Um, and um, I uh, would like to say maybe at the very beginning that the aim is to present you these activities, but also to um, equip you with knowledge what will come in the coming months and maybe even years, and uh, answer all your questions, but also gather feedback. So actually we would like to use this exercise to know from you uh, what, how, how you would like to be supported. There may, may be things that we don't know or we don't cover, um, then please feel free to come to us after the session or, or now, react on spot and tell us this, because this is really a um, practical brainstorming exchange, let's call it like that. Um, you know that in DG Regio we uh, have several geographical units, and colleagues from these units were also here for the conference, um, and they are there to provide you uh, support also in implementation of the JTF. You, so you can count on them um, always when you have some questions. Um, there is also the um, horizontal unit uh, leading by my head of unit, Katrin Vent, um, with the team focused on just transition. The leader of this team is uh, Miriam Boveda. There is my colleague Sander Happertz, who is coordinator of the just transition fund. So you can also uh, come to, to us, to myself, uh, if you have some questions. And then we have also the transition platform uh, and uh, its different streams of, of support, which I will explain just in, in one second. So um, for DG Regio, it's important to, for you to, to understand and to, to know that there are um, also possibilities to contact us uh, bilaterally. There will be our contact details on the last slide. Uh, and if you have some questions, we, we are there for you. Um, now, um, I would like to present you, before we start talking about the technical assistance, I wanted to present to you a um, promotional video for the Just Transition platform and found. And this video is um, part of our campaign, uh, awareness raising campaign for the regions. It will be translated into different languages. You will see the English version now with subtitles, but there will be subtitles also in different languages, so this is something we would like to show in the regions in the coming months to spread the awareness about the found and about the platform, because we know that uh, the knowledge that we here have and we attend the conferences, it's not there in, on the ground yet, so this is uh, actually the aim of the video. So um, maybe let's put it now um, and listen to it. And I will then continue on different streams of the support under JTP. And I was asked to be patient because it will take a few seconds until it's put on. So I'm patient. 
The European Union is on the path to become carbon neutral by 2050. All across Europe, regions are transitioning to renewable, clean energy. This shift will affect the lives of millions of people, driving change across industries and communities, creating opportunities for growth, innovation, and for building a brighter future. Today, Europe is facing huge challenges. We needed an instrument that would help regions make the transition without major social economic costs. Making the best use of innovation and technology, respecting the planet, and making sure that no European citizen is left behind. At the heart of this transformation is the European Union's Just Transition Fund. Mobilizing billions of euros in investments to support communities that are heavily reliant on carbon-intensive industries. Ensuring all regions benefit equally from the climate transition. To help guide and navigate the transition, the Just Transition platform was created. An online platform that brings together experts, policymakers, and community leaders to provide information on how to access the Just Transition Fund as well as the tools and resources to support the development and implementation of a just transition. The platform is a hub for sharing best practices, exchanging knowledge, and growing partnerships between industries and communities. Embodying the values of collaboration, inclusion, and progress. Building a new, more resilient, and sustainable economy by creating new job opportunities in fast-growing fields, such as the circular economy, renewable energy, and through the promotion of greener, more environmentally friendly work practices in the steel, cement, and chemical industries. Visit the Just Transition platform today and discover how you too can be a part of the movement to create a fairer and greener future for all. Yes. Wow. Not the very last version of the video, but one of the working versions. Um, but we are on good track, I think. Um, there will be more uh, videos pro uh, produced by our um, JTP groundwork team, uh, and they will be ta targeted to the territories. So um, it would be probably also good from you to know which type of That's why. That's why. It's my comment on this. But we, we know, we know. <laughs> um, and, and thank you for, uh, for spotting this. Uh, we, we, we have corrected in, uh, it in the final version. Um, so in any case, there, there will be more. I will just talk about this in one second. Um, but I wanted to first maybe explain you the different streams um, of uh, support that we are providing under uh, Just Transition Platform. So one, um, the first one is the Just Transition Platform Secretariat that you uh, know already. It's run by, um, by uh, us in collaboration with uh, colleagues from, uh, from a consortium, uh, colleagues from ECORIS Prognos and Wuppertal Institute. Um, and this um, secretariat, among other things, um, is running working groups and also organizing with us the Just Transition Platform conferences. So you see here on, on this slide actually all type of uh, work that we support that we provide. Um, these conferences uh, are organized with, um, in collaboration with our colleagues uh, from uh, DGNR uh, and uh, Coal Regions in Transition Secretariat. Um, and they are uh, to gather stakeholders from overall uh, EU, from the JTF regions. Um, this is one of the events of this conference. And this is the seventh uh, conference so far. Um, we always uh, manage to also invite not only stakeholders from the JTF regions, but some high level speakers. Uh, our commissioner is very much interested in the activities of the Just Transition platform. Also, Commissioner Simpson is attending uh, this event. So this also shows that, that um, this is important uh, on the agenda of the commission. Um, then we have uh, JTP working groups um, that were set up in 2021. I will not go too much into details uh, f um, on these groups because there was a special session dedicated, led by, uh, moderated by my uh, head of unit, Katrin Vent, uh, today before. Uh, but for those who maybe did not attend this uh, session, 
um, just for info that there are four working groups on steel, cement, chemicals, and a horizontal uh, um, cross-cutting working group, um, and um, they um, are built uh, of uh, stakeholders from different background, uh, academia, trade unions, NGOs, uh, local, regional authorities. So we think they are really unique because they uh, give this added value of discussion between different stakeholders having also different perspectives on just transition. Um, we very much promote this type of, um, of support given to the stakeholders and uh, we will continue to do so in the, in the coming uh, months and, and years. Uh, so this proves to be quite efficient way of working with stakeholders on just transition, these working groups. Uh, then we will have uh, also JTP technical assistance on the ground uh, with two main streams, JTP groundwork and also JTPs, um, exchanges for experts. Um, this we will cover in one uh, minute, uh, by, this will be covered by my colleagues from JTP Groundwork team, but just to let you know that this is actually the new tool that we have uh, deployed this year uh, in January 2023, um, and it covers um, the, the whole year of technical support by the end of the year. In 2024, we uh, plan to deploy a new wave of technical assistance, new edition of JTP grant work for more regions. Um, now we have covered uh, six beneficiaries, but it will be uh, much more uh, to come. Uh, JT Peers, uh, this is um, also a new stream for support uh, for experts to make experts exchanges. It's an um, expert program uh, focused also on peer-to-peer -peer learning and um, uh, shadow, job shadowing and pa pairing um, and these type of activities. It will be also explained in a few minutes more in detail. Uh, we have also knowledge products um, and JTP website and JTF uh, communication activities. So JTP website, it's this new website that you have seen uh, in the video. Um, and um, we created it two years ago in order to have all knowledge about just transition in one place. So there are different sub-pages on founding opportunities, on working groups, on um, knowledge products. We try to, to have everything there in one place. Knowledge products um, cover case studies, they cover different types of uh, brochures on just transition, and policy approaches and strategies. Uh, there are two teams working on this, two teams of experts. Um, this is also bit the, the, the sub-page for knowledge products is still in development in the sense that we would like to transform it into kind of e-library. Um, and for no knowledge products, we are also open for your suggestions, what could be useful for you, for example, for your territory, maybe you think there is something which is of cross-cutting nature, and it would be good that it's uh, developed. We have a team of experts who also look for a bit of uh, maybe inspiration from, from your side. So please, uh, please come to us on this. JTP communication, so we have awareness raising campaigns, um, targeted videos. Um, we will produce also in um, cooperation with colleagues from the DG Radio Communication Unit. Um, and there is JTP newsletter. I don't know if you know, uh, all know this newsletter. It's, um, it's deployed by our JTP secretariat once uh, several uh, weeks, um, and if you don't know, then you can write to us and we will send you the link to subscribe or just to Secretariat Just Transition Platform. I think it's very useful because through this newsletter you can learn about different um, activities of the platform, but also invitations for, for conferences, it's only you will receive the links fast. So um, these are the activities covered by the Just Transition Platform. As I said at the beginning, there are more tools supporting just transition, and um, I will now invite my colleagues uh, from JTP Groundwork team, Emma Krause and Moritz Schaeffer, to explain you more about the groundwork, uh, and also Sarunas Bruz from European Investment Bank to tell you more about these different tools that we also have to support you.
Maurits, the floor is yours now. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Balbina. Um, and thanks for, for bearing with us uh, this afternoon here. Um, my name is Moritz Schäfer. Um, I work for Guidehouse, and in case you don't know, Guidehouse is a um, global consultancy in the energy, climate, and sustainability field, and um, we have been contracted by the European Commission, by, by DG Regio, um, to support the, the activities on the ground, and Guidehouse is um, the the lead of a consortium together with the consultancy COVI, um, the, the regional network of local authorities, ICLE, and our communication experts, EFOC. Um, and I would like to present to you today a little bit, um, Balbina has touched upon it already, uh, the work that we will be conducting in, uh, until the end of this year. Um, and we have, we have started in, in January with, um, a first call for what we call JTP groundwork. So we've come up here with a couple of um, uh, new names um, to, to identify the different support products. Um, and you can see on the screen here um, the four work streams that we have. Um, the work is uh, the, the first one is the the JTP knowledge hub. And um, what we are trying to do is to to have research knowledge products. So tools um, that regions can use, um, which will make the transition easier for them. Um, so a very practical tools um, that will be used and it, um, it will also include a number of, of case studies. Um, the second work stream, and I'll, I will go into to each of these um, a little bit more in detail, is the JTP groundwork. And it has been mentioned, this is the technical assistance um, that we will providing our, our teams of experts uh, will support uh, six beneficiaries in um, uh, throughout uh, Europe um, with our technical services, um, really needs-based assistance there and in close collaboration and partnership, um, implementing the TJTPs, implementing um, the use of, of the Just Transition Fund. Third work stream, is what we call JT Peers. Um, it is an, a, a, a platform um, for just transition experts. Um, so what we are creating currently is a database for just transition platform uh, for just transition experts to register and and so that regions can make use of their expertise and can reach out um, to experts across Europe. Um, and it will also include. Um, an exchange program, and that's where the peers come in, so a peer-to-peer -peer exchange program um, between regions and uh, with the experts. And our fourth um, work stream here, I guess we could call it JTP Communications maybe, um, is additional services to, to the communications that are already ongoing, so um, is supporting that, supporting the work of um, um, the JTP Secretariat uh, there also with a promotional video that you have um, seen, for example, and there will be more to come as well as contribution to, to newsletters and uh, social media. We will have regional events in the, the regions where we also um, will implement the, um, the technical assistance. So those are also meant um, to reach out to other regions that are affected so um, that we share the knowledge in uh, of the technical assistance in the region also with other regions and that they can participate. Um, we'll also have uh, brochures and especially uh, the lessons learned from these examples because we want to, um, we want to share that. Um, if you can go to the next slide. Yes, thank you. Um, so going into, into JTP a groundwork um, a little bit more in, in depth. Um, a couple, I think in, in, in February, um, we started to, to have a call um, for regions or, or stakeholders to apply um, for the JTP groundwork and for the technical assistance. And you can see here on the, on the map the first six beneficiaries of this technical assistance. Um, and maybe gi to give you a little bit of an um, of, of an impression, it's um, we will be working 
um, in, in Poland, in, in Lodzki, um, we will support uh, and try to design um, with the region a support scheme for SMEs. Um, in Portugal, in, in Medio Tejo, um, we will support them in stakeholder engagement and capacity building to develop a sustainable industrial uh, opportunities. Um, in Sweden, Vesterbotten, you heard about that yesterday, I think uh, you, you probably remember that they were looking for um, new skilled workers, workers in general and, and, and upskilling, so, so we will support them in this uh, challenge. Then in, in Latvia, it's the regions of um, Vidzeme and Latgala, um, where we'll support them in, in greening, well, a, a green development plan for the, for the peat regions there. And then um, Kalovivari in the city of, of Sokolov, um, we will support them in strategic communication and stakeholder engagement. And then in Romania and uh, Jew Valley and the, um, and the districts there of Hunaduara, um, Gorge and Dolj, um, we will support them in stimulating investments um, in the green transition. And we can also now, um, um, just in a second, hear from two of the beneficiaries who are here in the room. But maybe if you go to the next slide, I'll just quickly say a word about what we will be doing and, and what's on offer. So um, in terms of the implementation, we will support the regions, and you heard that, um, in, in strategy development, capacity building, um, mobilizing stakeholders, strengthening collaboration, project planning and development. But in the end, this is just an, an example. Um, I think the, the technical assistance that we are providing is very much needs-based, so it really depends on what the regions would like to uh, be supported in, and, and we try to um, design our support services towards these needs. Um, some of the, the key facts, we will have three workshops in each of um, the regions, as well as one of uh, one, one probably a little bit larger side event, and each of the region is supported by, by a dedicated team until the end of um, 2023. So this as an introduction to, to JTP Groundwork, and I would like to uh, use the opportun opportunity um, for two of the beneficiaries to, to say um, some, some words about why they have applied and, and what they're looking for, um, what, what they're looking to achieve through the technical assistance. And um, we have from um, Adina, I've, I've, yeah, I've seen you, you're still in the room, thank you. Um, so maybe you can, you can say a word to that. Uh, hello, yes, I, I know that I, I have to be brief. Um, I'm from the Jiu Valley. Few people know that is the most beautiful <laughs> place on earth. <laughs> you don't, you, I know that you don't believe me, so you, you have to come and see for yourselves. Uh, and we are also part uh, of Jiu Conurbation. So uh, there are uh, those uh, three counties, uh, Hunedoara, Gorge, and Dolj. The Jiu Valley uh, went through a very painful transition, uh, started uh, 30 years ago. Uh, the resistance was, uh, was huge, and uh, um, that's why now, uh, because we, we didn't search for alternatives to coal, we really felt it. So now with the Green Deal, we, we have new opportunities, and we really want to capitalize on them. Uh, we received support from different programs from the European Commission, and we applied uh, for the GT Ground work uh, to, to help us on the mobilization of the stakeholders. And uh, as you said, uh, we, uh, yesterday I had a very fruitful discussion with one of uh, your colleagues and we decided to uh, focus on uh, uh, identifying green, uh, econ uh, green uh, uh, economic development opportunities and also what uh, uh, skills we need for the workforce. So uh, I think that uh, the result uh, will be very, very good for other regions too, and thank you very much. Thank you, Adina, and um, giving us this insight, and, and we also um, would like to have the opportunity um, to hear from you, Patrick, for, um, from um, what your plans are in uh, Kalavivari. So good afternoon. Um, 
actually these are the plans of city of Sokolov. I spoke about it, about it uh, yesterday, because Sokolov is the still active mining area in our region. Uh, we have to plan, we have territorial uh, just transition plan, we are now creating a specific plan for city of Sokolov to implement a just transition fund. And the motto is uh, labor market. We have uh, really strategic projects running in the region, creating uh, jobs, new job opportunities in new industries. Even we want to be sure uh, to offer uh, uh, to investors uh, enough workers. I think uh, this is the main thematic in all uh, transition re regions. So that's the goal, uh, and that's the where we support uh, is needed uh, to activate the stakeholders on the labor market, to activate our workers, to stay in the region, and to upskill them um, as uh, they can use the chance of new industries coming uh, to Sokolov region. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I hope we can we can support you as well as um, the other four regions, and, and, and I hope we've heard about this um, in the last two days. I hope we can increase the speed of the transition. I hope we can um, um, use this tool to um, make the transition a success, um, to try uh, to, to provide additional capacities and, and expertise, um, and also to make a connection between the region. It was um, it was also said before we don't have to reinvent the wheel. I think there is a lot of knowledge all across these regions, and uh, it's important to make that connection. As I said, we have some more work streams, and my colleague Emma. Um, we'll give you now some, some insights into the um, other work streams that we're doing. Thank you, Mark. Thank you all to everyone in the room and online. I'd like to tell you about the two other work streams that we mentioned earlier, the first of which is JTP Knowledge Hub. So the goal here is to produce tangible, usable resources for you that you can make use of while uh, implementing the transitions. The uh, outputs take two forms toolkits and case studies. You can see the list of toolkits in development now. There'll be a first wave of them coming out mid this year or so, and we'll have a second wave towards the end of the year. Uh, I will not go into detail in, in these, simply because of time and uh, respecting the fact that we've all been sitting in this room for some time, but I'm more than happy to answer your questions about any of them, or if you'd like to use the email address at the bottom. You'll see with the case studies as well, there's several case studies from all over Europe on many of the topics that we've been speaking about over the course of the past few days. Um, so if you have questions or you'd like to learn more about what we're talking about, please by all means reach out. I will also say uh, to Balbina's point earlier, if there is a toolkit that you do not see on this list, if there is a case study that you do not see on this list, if there is uh, knowledge that you are seeking that is not here, please let us know. Uh, we would be happy to hear from you and take your suggestions. I've already gathered some from uh, colleagues in this room, but would be happy to hear about others so that we can best uh, support you in the transition process. Uh, next slide, please. And the additional service that was mentioned, JT Peers. There are two work streams for JT Peers, the first of which is JT Peers Exchange, and this will launch, drum roll please, on Tuesday, May 2nd. A call for applications will go out for a peer-to-peer -peer exchange program, really facilitating uh, exchange in good practice. Many of you are familiar with uh, th these sorts of programs uh, from similar initiatives in the CRIT Secretariat. Um, this program will offer uh, in-person exchanges as well as online exchanges, and the intention here is to do exchanges between regions, but also to offer the option for exchanges between regions and uh, experts. So take a look at the call for applications when it comes out on Tuesday uh, to learn more. There'll also be information on uh, the, JT, uh, the Just Transition Platform website. There'll be an FAQ. And as you can see, we have an email address at the bottom there for JT Peers as well. So if you have additional questions, please get in touch. The second work stream of JT Peers is JT Peers Expert. This will launch uh, later this month, later spring, which will be a database of professionals focused on just transition across Europe as a resource uh, for regions to use if there are particular topics that you're seeking further knowledge on. These resources are available for carbon intensive and coal regions, uh, coal plus regions across all 27 EU member states. Uh, and we hope that they can really support increasing skills, strengthen cooperation and learning of good practices uh, as everyone is working to implement uh, their transitions. 
As I said, please get in touch if you have questions and looking forward to working with many of you and uh, offering these resources accordingly. Robina, back to you. Thank you very much, Emma. Um, maybe I will, um, before we skip uh, to, to other tools supporting just transition, I will maybe give uh, opportunity to two participants to, to ask if there are any questions for the moment. Yes, there is a question I see from Miuka. Uh, hi, uh, Miuka Stampian from uh, C Bank Watch Network. Um, we actually work in three of the regions where uh, the, the groundwork support is uh, being provided. And uh, from our experience, one of the main issues with technical support is issues of language. Uh, and um, um, here in this room, in majority, you have people who have the ability uh, to communicate well and to understand well in English. This is completely different in many of these regions where you really need to go in with the language abilities and to translate also the material. So I want to ask also in relation to the Knowledge Hub and to the deliverables, let's say, from the JTP uh, groundwork, are there plans to translate them um, into the languages, what languages will the workshops be in if they're in the regions? Um, so, you know, this is a very practical question, but is it extremely important from the communication side? Thank you. No, thank you very much. I, th I think that's an absolute relevant question. Um, I'm happy to, to answer that. So, yes, um, within the regions, we are absolutely aware that uh, language is an issue and then that a lot of um, communication can only be in the local language uh, to be heard. What we are trying to do in the in the dedicated um, technical assistance teams is to have people who speak the local language um, so they can do it. And whenever that's not possible or we bring in experts that don't speak the language because we want to make the, the exchange, um, we will use interpretation. And in general, um, for the events, I would say, we will have a similar system as it is here, right? So there will be interpretation provided um, wherever needed. And also for the, um, for the different toolkits, we, I think we still need to look into it a little bit more in depth, what languages would be needed for, for what, um, because I don't think it makes sense to, to um, translate everything into all languages, but um, to have it targeted. So yes, um, there are plans to to provide that also in local language uh, where this is um, helpful. Thank you, thank you, Moritz. Yes, indeed, we, we are aware of the fact that translation and interpretation, it's, um, it's crucial, especially if we go with uh, JTF uh, locally, so we, we take it into account in our work on the ground. Um, I see there is a question. Blanka Jolcikova, I'm from Friends of the Earth. So I also have a practical question. Just transition experts. What kind of expertise they will offer? Yeah, it's a it's a good question. Uh, thanks, Lenka. Um, uh, twofold, I think, uh, both from the perspective of um, a more academic expert, perhaps that can offer learnings from across Europe with substantial knowledge, and also a, a regional expert as well. So someone who has substantial on the ground experience with a particular topic that can offer that knowledge as a resource to other jurisdictions. Whether it's a specific uh, clean energy technology or strategy or approach, we see experts as being both in the um, more sort of uh, academic sense, but also in the more practical sense. And there'll be a call for applications launched in time, uh, soliciting experts to please apply. Thank you, Emma. There, is, there are questions uh, from the audience uh, yeah. online. Yeah, exactly. We have a question from the audience online asking whether the introduced work streams are aligned with CINE activities on pillar two and three of the just transition mechanism, such as the public sector loan facility. And is the CINE material also part of the database and the support instruments? Uh, thank you very much for, for the question. Um, we uh, work uh, closely uh, also in DG Regio with uh, colleagues from CINEA. Uh, and uh, we are aware, of course, that this uh, knowledge and expertise on the second and third pillar is, is needed in the regions. 
Uh, Sina has uh, their own streams of support, of course, but we, um, we are uh, collaborating and they are also uh, in touch with us, for example, for events like Just Transition Platform. They had um, their stand uh, here yesterday. Uh, and um, we uh, develop some uh, products uh, also uh, in cooperation with the unit uh, in the region responsible for, uh, for the uh, third pillar. So uh, yes, we, we are aware that it's not only about JTF, but also about uh, other pillars uh, to support you. I don't see any other questions, then maybe uh, I suggest that we uh, then move uh, to um, additional services for just transition, because JTP is uh, part of this big, uh, big group of uh, support tools that are provided by, uh, by the European institutions. So please, Sarunas, the floor is yours now. Thank you, Balbina. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sharunas Bruzge. I'm an economist in the European Investment Bank. And first of all, first of all, I would like to, to thank for the, the, the organizers for the possibility to be here and present today. It's my pleasure. Thank you all for still being here. As we heard already, the conference formally is over. You're still here. Thank you, thank you for that. Uh, I'll be very brief. I have two points I would like to mention today, uh, along with the, with the naming or mentioning several of the technical assistance instruments that are available. After listening to the discussions in the last two days, um, I think there is one important aspect to mention, I'd just like to, to, start, to start with that, it's the projects or the actions that actually lead to the transition. Uh, working already with the initial ideas, in, uh, with the initial projects, or early, early stages of the projects that are being developed in the regions, what we see, I mean, after the dis these discussions that took place, there were a lot of important aspects that should be taken into account, education, cooperation, discussions, and the inclusion, etc. But uh, when we move from those great words and, and right ideas into the actual projects or actual actions that are proposed to be implemented, what we see is that there are kind of big gaps, I would say, from what is being discussed and everybody agrees that these are important aspects that needs to be taken into account. And when we see the actual projects that are being, from, that are being presented, for, the, for, the, for example, for the JTF funding, I mean, the project seems to be way simpler, way narrow-minded, etc. So I think this is an important aspect also to, to ensure that those ideas that are being discussed, that everybody agrees, that they are also transformed into the projects which are then being presented for the financing. And uh, one of the aspects where we could help with this are the technical, as various technical assistance instruments. Some of them have been presented. I'm here today to mention three others. They are Target, Jaspers, and uh, Elena. There are slides. I mean, I will not focus on the slides. Uh, I will not focus on the details of each of the instruments. Maybe I would just mention a couple of the main ideas or the type of the support that is available for you. Most of that, mo most of the support is free of charge. For example, Target and Jaspers. So these two instruments, they are, they, they are relatively similar. The core of the instruments is the availability of the EIB, European Investment Bank expertise of the, the experts working in the EIB to help you to prepare your projects. The support is free of charge. How to apply, I encourage all, some of you who still don't know that, just to, to, get in, to, to get in touch either with me, either with any of my colleagues, and we'll be more than happy to help you to explain the procedure. Normally, it, it, it's rather simple. But the idea here is the advisory support. So it's the EIB expertise to help you to prepare the project. One other important aspect on these two instruments is that I'm very happy to be here for another reason, because I see many, many familiar, familiar faces with, with whom we already work. What it means is that we are also there to help you to facilitate the exchange of the expertise from the various regions that is already available in Europe to help you with your project preparation. So these were the two instruments, the Target and Jaspers. Elena, the third instrument, is a bit different, but it is perfectly complementary to the other two, because 
Elena focuses on the grants for project preparation. So let's say if under Target and Jaspers we don't substitute consultants and to, uh, to help to prepare the projects, Elena, on the other hand, provides grants for the preparation of the projects. So you are all invited to, to benefit from the support and, and whatever project document is required for you to be prepared to get the support, up to 90% grants are available for you from the Elena instrument. You might ask, what's the catch? I mean, free money, we don't believe that. Yeah, so the catch, if, if I can call so, the idea is that the idea of the Elena is to promote project implementation. So as long as you implement the project, that's it. You, you, you have fulfilled your part. You have fulfilled your part, why you have been awarded a grant. On that, I stop here. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, either please go ahead now, or you are all welcome to, uh, to send an email to me or, many, or any of my colleagues who would be happy to help. Thank you. Are there any questions on these two tools? Online, no? So I think everyone deserves now a proper afternoon. <laughs> um, yes, so uh, these were the tools that we are equipped with to help uh, the, the regions undergoing transition. Um, we, uh, we are very open for your suggestions as regards the um, uh, expanded just transition platform support that will come in uh, next year and the years after. So your ideas are welcome. Please contact us on this um, and we remain in touch. There will be a uh, next conference as Sander mentioned in the autumn uh, and the JTP grant work continues of course to, to deliver on the ground in the meantime. Thank you very much.